us see what is the situation in gynecium. <coughs> Gynesium is also called pisti. That is why female flowers are called pistillate flowers. It is the female reproductive structure in the flower, female reproductive structure in the flower. Gynesium, gynesium consists of one to many functional units called carpels, carpels. Each carpel is long and shows three parts. The uppermost region has branched structures which are sensory in function. representing stigma. Stigma is followed by a long hollow tubular portion which is called style. The style ends in a basal swollen portion called ovary. So each corpel has a stigma, a style, and the ovary. Inside the ovary there are one to many structures called ovules. These ovules are attached to the wall of the ovary by a tissue called placenta. The manner of attachment, the way by which they are attached, it is called placentation. Placentation, if you recollect, last year you have studied different types of placentation, marginal, basal, axile, parietal and so on. So placentation refers to the attachment to the ovules inside the ovary with the help of a tissue called placenta. Ovule represents the megasporangium. Megasporangium. It is usually oval in shape and has a stalk called funicle with the help of the Funicle, it is attached to the placenta. Suppose we take the structure of a typical ovule. This is the funicle. That is the funicle. The point of attachment of the funicle to the ovule 
is called hilum there is a ridge above the hilum it is called raphe the ovule has a covering of one or two layers of protective tissue called integuments integuments this is actually the apex of the ovule this is the base so the ovule is inverted here this is the most typical situation this condition is called anatropous condition so this is anatropous ovule most common type of ovule this end the basal end is called chalaza at the apical end there is a a small opening this opening is called micropyle opening is called micropyle so this end is called micropylar end this end is called chalazal end inside the integument there is a nutritive tissue a nutritive tissue it is called nucellus nucellus the new cells encloses an embryo sac embryo sac inside the embryo sac you find eight nuclei and seven cells inside the embryo sac at the chalazal end there are three haploid cells these are called antipodals antipodals at the micropylar end there are three haploid cells three haploid cells of which the middle one is slightly larger that is the egg cell and the two haploid cells that are found on either side of the egg cell they are called
synergids synergids and you find two haploid nuclei two haploid nuclei in the center and these two haploid nuclei represent primary nuclei so you find 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nuclei these two primary nuclei fuse just before pollination and fertilization to form a single cell so 3 plus 1 4 plus 3 7 cells 8 nuclei this is the characteristic feature of the ovule.